All right, this is the advanced event tutorial. This is for you experts that have already watched the persistent event tutorial and the introduction to events. I'm going to show you some of the other cool features. And I'm going to create an animation called blink pick one. And the pick one feature is designed for cases where in some cases you want to fire one animation and in other cases you want to fire a completely different animation. So currently, the, pick, the blink pick one animation doesn't have any curves, but it does fire these two animations together. Now if I wanted to only pick one of those animations, I will click on the pick one button. Now I can change the probability that each of these is fired with the weights, with the weight parameter. And you can see the effect of this if I go into my auto workspaces animation. And I'm going to add the blink pick one event and I'm going to select the blink curve. And so you can see now that the blink pick one has picked the blink event. And I'm going to create a new take and now it's created picked a different event. You can see clearly which event it picked when I go into take view. And if I click on one, you can see who the parent is and who the children are based on these colors and the lines. And so the blink pick one has now picked the blink persist event, persistent event. And if I click it a few more times, it'll pick the different one, the blink event. And so that's the pick one feature. And if I wanted to, let's say, add some recursion, I could double click on the blink event, which will bring me up uh, to, it will select the blink animation for me. And I am going to go back into template view. You can't edit take view, it's just for viewing. And I'm going to add the blink animation to itself. Not at time zero, because that would cause infinite recursion. It would just keep on adding itself. But, you know, let's say time, you know, 0.9 something. And now when I'm going to go to this back button, which will take me back to the auto workspaces event. And I'm going to go into take view. And I'm going to do a few takes until it picks the blinks. And now you'll see that the blink one the, pick, the blink pick one of event has fired the blink event, which has recursively called itself a few times until it reaches the end of the animation, at which point it stops calling itself. And so you've created a nice little recursive animation. And of course, if you wanted to have a, a varying distance in the recursion, you could easily accomplish that by going back into the blink event and let's say change in the template view and change the start time to go sometime between 9 and 1.5 seconds. And now there'll be a little more randomness to how that blink animation is inserted into the auto workspace animation. And finally a feature uh, is the bake to curves feature. And I can select an event in the template and say bake to curves and it's going to remove all of the uncertainty of what's going to happen when every time I hit the take and it's just going to create a blink curve from whatever's there. And so now every time I hit the take button, button nothing happens because there's no events left in the template. Uh, they've been baked down to curves. And so those are some of the uh, more advanced features for events and that will conclude this